Hey Pinksters and welcome to this very short code, code tutorial. So um, many people run into, into the following problem. It's called the Python indentation error unexpected indent and in this tutorial I will show you how to fix this stupid bug forever <laughs> so that you don't have to um, uh, um, see this bug ever again. So say you have a for loop for i in range 10. Now Python uses indentation blocks. So, there, so for example in Java we would have like the for loop would have something like this. So some uh, opening and closing parentheses and this parenthesis would show um, when the for loop basically ends and when, the, when it starts. Okay, But in Python we don't have this. We only have indentation and the indentation itself shows us, shows the Python interpreter that for example this print statement is after the for loop and this print statement is within the for loop. So this is part of the of the for loop. So only the indentation determines where um, a certain sta statement belongs in which in which block. And therefore Python is very sensitive to any indentation mistake you do. Okay, so because the semantic changes. So for example, if you run this code snippet, the print statement below will be printed only once this uh, three minuses. But if you if you use the indentation here, like you indented in the, in the same block, then you see the um, the three minuses are printed multiple times in the loop. Okay, so the indentation is really critical in Python and you need to get this right. And in many code editors actually, um, so the, so when, the, when does the indentation error happen? It happens if you have something like this. Okay, so you have uh, one indentation block which is like four characters and the other indentation block is five characters. So you have some mistake in the indentation uh, in your code. And I mean this error is obvious if you if you execute the code you cannot even execute it and Python will, my, my idle editor will just throw a syntax error unexpected indent. But you can also I mean if you run this in, in some other code, code shell so let's copy it and open an REPL code shell. Okay, so this is now like a browser-based code shell. We can create our own Python shell, for example. And okay, so this is it. So our code shell now we can copy paste our example here. We see that now they have the same indentation, but what happens if I add one uh, empty space here? So I have a wrong indentation. I, I um, execute this and now I get the indentation error unexpected indent. Okay, so some code editors will not even allow any indentation errors. So you cannot even execute the code. Others will just throw this error and, and tell you that the indentation is wrong. And so this, this um, code, I mean, in this case, it's obvious to see how to fix it. You just bring them into the same indentation level. Okay, so both have the same indentation level. Now you execute it and now you get the correct output. Okay, and also in our shell here, I mean, now they have the same same indentation. But there's a, there's a, there's a problem with this because in some cases, we have the following scenario. And this error is, is quite difficult to, to, um, to catch because now let's open open this figure. Because sometimes you have uh, you use a tabular character in some editors, like if you have um, say Notepad editor editor here, um, good. So we have the not Notepad editor here, and now say I have the statement for i in range ten. Now I use for the first line I use empty spaces yeah, like print i. For the second line I use a tabular character like this. I hit it once and this this is basically the tabular uh, character. Okay. So and in this case both. So this one this part here is a tabular character while this one is number of uh, white space characters. It looks the same for the eye for the for the human eye. It looks the same in the editor. But actually here in front of the first statement we have a number of uh, of empty space characters and here in the second case we have a tabular character and therefore uh, if you would run this code you would still get the unexpected indent 
in the indentation arrow. Uh, why? Because you have different types of indentations. Yeah, first you have, so in one case you have the empty spaces, in the other case you have the tabular character. And the way to fix it is to remove the tabular character and replace it with the empty spaces, okay? And you can do this by using search replace. For example, you can search for all tabular characters and, re and replace them with the four empty spaces. So one level of indentation, according to the PEP8 code standard is, um, to, is to use the empty spaces, okay? So you have four empty spaces for one level um, of indentation. So actually Python discourages the use of the tabular character. So you can, in your code editor, you can often set um, um, the tabular character should be replaced by the four empty spaces. And now if you do this, you can use the tabular char character to write your code, to write the different indentation blocks, but um, it internally the editor will just use the four empty white spaces, which makes sure that that all uh, indentation is correctly and also your code is migratable. So you can use your code, copy paste it to another, into another code um, uh, project, for example, and you don't have this problem that you use any tabular character in your code. So Python allows the tabular, ca tabular character, but yet then you need to use it consistently for, all, for everything. You, you need to use the tabular character. So, but this is not encouraged by the PEP8 coding standard. So therefore you should use the empty spaces, as I said. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can fix the indentation error. Use uh, the same number of white spaces. Uh, best is white space characters, four white space characters for one indentation level uh, instead of the tabular character. And make sure that the white space is the same, that not one indentation level has like five, four white spaces, the other has five white spaces or so, because then you will get the indentation arrow. Okay, um, thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in um, uh, joining our free Computer Science Academy, then check out the link in the description below. Uh, I will send you regular Python emails, also cheat sheets and a lot of Python tutorials uh, that will make you a better coder over time uh, for continuous improvement in Python. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.